You guys, I'm in Vegas. I'm at the airport right now, as you guys can see. I'm waiting for my bags to come, but I just felt like I had to just talk to you guys and let you know what's been going on. I'm excited, but I'm very freaking nervous. Um, I had a very short conversation with Derek over the phone. There were some things he needed to say, some things I feel like I even need to say, get off my chest. Um, so we decided the best thing was for us to do it in person. Obviously, you know, like my family lives here too, so I wanted to see my parents, but I'm get, getting ready to go over there right now. Just as soon as my bags come, I'm on my way to his house. I just don't know how to feel. I literally have a million emotions going through my, like, through my head, through my heart. I feel like I just had to go with my gut because my gut was telling me, like, you need to go out there and just get shit off your mind. You know what I mean? Get it off your chest, talk to him. Um, I feel like we didn't really have that when we broke up. You know, like, we didn't really have a talk. It was just kind of like, hey, it's not working out. All right, see ya, you know? So he said he wanted to talk and I have no idea what he wants to talk about, but either way, I'm here. And I'm here with an open ear, an open mind. I'm very nervous. I feel like literally like I can't stop shaking. Like my hands are literally like shaking. And I'm nervous and literally I've had anxiety this entire trip. So let me just tell you, it's been the craziest trip from hell. Like, I feel like this whole thing has just been crazy. Like, from the second I woke up this morning, I was late to my flight. I didn't even stay home last night. Like, I'm on three hours of sleep. Um, the craziest thing happened on this flight, and... Oh, shoot, here comes my bags. Hold on. Let me go get my bags, and I'm gonna be right back. Oh, that sucks. My camera just died. Okay, so anyway... The craziest thing happened on this flight. So, first of all, I'm running. Okay, I get to the, my, my airport. I'm already late. Woke up late this morning. I already have anxiety when I travel, first of all. So, I get to the airport, going late through security. Finally, security opens up another line, like, literally just in time. Because I only had, like, 10 minutes to get through security into my gate. Finally, get to the gate. And they freaking tell, oh, sorry. <laughs> and they tell me, um, they're already calling my name. Like, they're literally calling my name over the intercom. And they're like, last call for Lisette. They obviously didn't say my name right. But I'm running. Like, I literally was sprinting through this whole entire thing. So, I finally get to, I finally get to my gate. They let me on. So I'm like, all right, good. I'm like, I made it, you know what I mean? Oh my god, they're gonna make me wait. Okay, so anyways, I get there, get on the flight. It's like 90 degrees on this damn flight, okay? No AC on, something happened, whatever. Finally, I sit down, I get comfortable. I'm like, whew, I can finally take a breath. An hour into the flight, this guy passes out literally on my aisle, like where I was sitting. And I had to be the one to like grab him and put him on the floor in the middle of the aisle, in the middle of this plane, only an hour in. There's still four more hours left on the flight. I was just like, you've gotta be kidding me. Like this is like the craziest flight I've ever been on. So everything just stopped. Like the, the I was sitting right next to the bathroom. The bathroom didn't work. There was only one bathroom on the flight. A guy passed out. Another person had an emergency. Like I for sure thought we were having like an emergency landing because it was just like the craziest thing. It was like everything I could possibly go wrong was going wrong. Oh my gosh, hold on one second. Hold on. Excuse me, sir. Do you know why I pick up the Uber? 182, right? Cross that street, take the elevators up, level 2M. Okay, thank you. Okay, so, anyway, so that happened. Now, I'm here. Happy to be here. I'm excited to see my parents. I'm honestly excited to see Derek too. It's been forever, like so long. And I'm just nervous. I was gonna go home first, but he told me just to go straight to his house because it was important. So I'm like, 
what could be so important? I don't know. You guys, I'm nervous. I'm nervous as hell. And it's cold out here. Oh my God. Honestly, I thought PA was cold. Like it feels just as cold out here as it is out there. So, all right. Okay, so I'm here waiting for my Uber. Is this Uber? I feel like it's so weird when you get into an Uber and there's like other people waiting. You're like, sir, is this your Uber or is this mine? Hi, how are you? Thank you. Can you just turn your heater on a little bit? It's so cold out here. So anyway, I'm just, I'm excited to be here, but I'm also very nervous. Like, I just have so many things going through my mind. It's just crazy. I already talked to my mom about this. Honestly, I feel like I feel much better because she knows, you know, the whole situation. Like she's knows how the breakup was. Like you, you guys already know, like my mom's like my best friend. I tell her everything. And, and I always trust her advice. You know, I always feel like she gives me the right advice. Like she always has my best interest. So I feel like she's always the person that I talk to about everything. But anyway, so she just told me just to go, you know, hear what he has to say and whatever I have to say, just say it. And she just told me basically like if I don't, I'm just going to regret it forever and I'm always going to be thinking in the back of my mind like I should have said this or I should have said that. So that's what's going on and I'm very nervous. I'm excited to see my dogs. I miss my dogs so much. Like, you guys have no idea how excited I am right now to see them. Especially, like, especially because the last time I left, Harley was a puppy. You know, she was still, I mean, technically she's still a puppy. She's probably only, like, two years old. A little bit over two years old. And I feel like, I think they're still considered puppies till they're four, I want to say. Or... Or maybe it is two years, I don't know, I don't remember, but I'm just so excited to see like how much she's grown and it's funny because she always, I don't know if you guys watch Family Guy, but she reminds me of the horse. Like if you guys ever watch Family Guy, there's like a horse that's like not right. Like his eyes are always like weird and he like runs like sideways and he's just like an awkward horse. <laughs> um, but that's what she reminds me of, Harley. And then Sunny Bear, you guys already know, Sunny's like an old man, so he's like all just lovey-dovey and wants to cuddle. Which is probably why me and Sunny were so close. Because <laughs> all I did was sleep back then. <laughs> but anyway, it is going to be a cray-cray experience. My mind is like all over the place. I'm literally telling like myself what I'm going to say. And I've literally come up with like a million different things. Like, what am I supposed to say first, you know? Do I hug him? Do I just go for the dogs first? Like, I don't even know how this is about to go down. But I feel like it needs to be done. Just so that I can say what I need to say, he can say whatever he needs to say, and that's it. What's even weirder is like, this is my old neighborhood. Like, it's just so weird to see this again. Like, it's weird. It's just right here, sir. Thank you. Right here is fine. Thank you so much. All right, guys, I'm literally right across the street from his house and I'm like, I'm freaking out. Okay, this is like really hitting me. I don't know if I should do this. I don't freaking know if I should do this. You guys, I don't, I'm, I'm, This is so weird. 
this is my old house. Never thought I'd be here again. Y'all, this is some weird, like the weirdest feeling ever. Oh my God, you guys, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. <gasps> you guys, I can't, oh my God. I can't, I can't go over there. <sighs> Why is this so hard? It was good. It was crazy. It was really freaking crazy. Um, Harley! Harley, come here! Hi! Oh my god. Come on, Harley. Hi! Hi, babies! Oh! Hi, Papa! Hi, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hi. How was the fight? Good? The craziest thing, somebody passed out on my flight. Are you serious? And like, I had to be the one to save him. Yo, your house is like... So, lots changed since you've been here. So, Whoa. Yeah, so... This don't even look like the same house. This is... Right? It's beautiful, it's really, it's really nice. It's super nice. You look a lot different yourself. Is that a bad you thing? Not better, but you look different. Are you sure about that? <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. Can I put this down right here? Yeah, go ahead. Thanks. Um, so yeah, well, I, did, I knocked this wall. Oh down. my god, yo, this is so nice. I love it. It's Thank beautiful. You. Yeah, um, a lot, a lot different. How long is it? You look nice, dang. Thanks, you know. Check out the fit though. <laughs> you look good. You look good. Oh yeah. my God, everything's gone. Yeah, I tried When to, did you do all this? The last three months. I knocked the walls down, put the lighting in, um, painted. Oh my God, you, it's floors. beautiful. Thank you so much. You guys, this house? It's almost done, almost done. So when am I moving in? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. Subscription glasses? Uh, would you tell me if they weren't? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look at the doggies. Oh, oh my God, Harley. Oh my God, she's so big. You grew, mama, you grew. And Sunny's still a shrimp. Sunny's just tired. Oh, he's so cute. I think he has cute. diabetes. <gasps> no, I'm just kidding. You don't kid like that. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> Oh my God, yeah. that's scary, thank you. No, it's doggy diabetes, it makes Jeez. me tired. But how have you been? Oh. I literally have not talked to you up until just the other day, but I haven't talked to you in like two years. It's I know. been forever. I know. Uh, if did you miss me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was kidding. No, yeah, no, obviously, yeah, I did. Um, <laughs> now I was thinking the other day, I was like, I was like, man, Lissette used to be like so funny and like so full of life and exciting. And I was like, yo, that, what, what feels like something's <laughs> missing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, um, yeah, so I, I reached out to you in the corniest way possible. I was like, uh, oh, miss you. I'm just kidding. It was like a, like, I miss oh, your shit, company. Shit, it worked. I'm here. <laughs> no, no, I miss, I, I miss your company. So I was like, like thinking like, how do I reach out to her? I couldn't, I don't know. I don't know why I did it on camera. That's just how I feel. So I was like, hi, how you doing? How has everything been like here? Like, are you, how are you doing? <sighs> well, I'm hanging in there. You know, I'm a lot, no, I'm good. It's just like a lot of things been going wrong lately. What? Like. Me and Sophia kind of like be on this like bumpy road, and then are you guys like together? Are you guys still together? No, we're like taking a break. I guess she calls it a break, but she don't answer my text either. Does so. she live like? Does she live here? No, she's gone. She's in Seattle. Oh shit. Yeah. So wow. Um, basically, it's me, Harley, and Sunny, and um, 
I was, I don't know, I, I just had some time to think to myself, and I was like, let me see what Lissette's doing. Even though I already know what, what you're doing, you know, your boyfriend and everything, yeah. and like where you guys are at, but I was like, let me just see how she's doing, let her know that I miss her company, and her being funny, her being loud and annoying sometimes, and you know. Hey, <laughs> no. <laughs> No, nah, so yeah, that, that's what... It's... I get it, too. Like, honestly, like, I'm just going to be real with you. Like, there's been times where it's like, damn, like, we used to joke like this, you know? And yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. you can't be that same person yeah. with somebody else, you know? Yeah. And that's pretty much, like, that's how it's always been. Like, ever since we broke up, it's kind of been like, damn, well, you know, I, like, the, the relationship part was, it didn't work out, whatever, yeah, yeah. but it's also, like damn, I kind of miss him. I miss his personality and the yeah. jokes we did had and, like, inside jokes. Like, you can't share that kind of stuff yeah, like, with anybody like else. Yeah, like, being know? dumb, goofy, and then with the jokes, like, pushing the limit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And not being scared to, like, just who cares, you know? Mm -hmm. But anyways, I, I, was, I was thinking that, and I was like, hmm, let me just reach out to her. Who cares what happened? I don't know. You know, so I, I sent the text. I sent the text, and voila, here you are. So I'm pretty excited. <laughs> yeah. I, I know. I I miss You should have told me to pick you up from the, the airport. I know, but I just didn't. Surprise. <laughs> I didn't. I don't know. I guess yeah. you could have, but you didn't offer so. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I miss, I miss, you know, I miss you. I miss the dogs and just everything, but I'm here and it's, I'm not going to lie. It feels awkward especially because like, play some music no it's just like it's weird especially sitting in this house yeah, yeah. like i painted this brick wall and i'm just looking at it like damn that's I, your wall that's for that sure. is my wall yeah. no, i'm just kidding no but i'm 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 sorry you know that you're going through that and i don't i don't know that sucks i'm sorry it's all right um i'm just glad you're here me too I am too. <laughs> <laughs> I am. And it's cold out here. I'm surprised it's as cold as it is, like, as it is back where I live. You know what I mean? Isn't it's it freezing out here. It's snowed once since I've been there, but it's still, it literally feels exactly the same as it oh, is really? here. Yes. It is. It's crazy. So, like, what? I know you sent the text and we talked about me coming here, but. Like, we didn't really say anything, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you said you had things to say. <sighs> well, the thing is, like, I, f I don't know. I'm not, I don't expect you to feel the same way, but, like, I feel like, yo, I know you're in a good spot. I know you're with your boyfriend. And I think that we both, like, miss, like, our us being goofy. Us, like, taking nothing seriously. Us but is being... this just because you guys are broken up? Like, is it just because maybe you're, bro you know what I mean? Like, heartbroken with her. That's why you reached out to me? Or is this something you've always felt? Because that's, you know what I mean? Random. Like, I know it's random. what made you text you know, me this time and not before? I feel like, I feel like something, like, kind of, like, missing from, like, my excitement, entertainment in life. Like, my, my fun. You know what I'm saying? So, like you said, our relationship didn't work out. But it was still, we had certain fun times, like, you know, exciting, fun, jokes, take nothing seriously, you only live once type of life. So I feel like um, that's what was missing with me and Sophia. Not that not that she wasn't amazing, but she was. Or she still is, I'm sorry. But it's more about, like, you're still all that amazing, you know what I'm saying, fun, cool person to hang out with. And we just... Like, basically, we didn't only end our relationship, we ended our friendship, our communication, our, how's she doing? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I felt like... See, I'm going to be honest with you, too. Like, that I honestly would told my mom about this before I came. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. I talked to her to see if this was even something I should do. Like, yeah. obviously, I want to see my parents while I'm here, too. So this was... I'm not saying, like, I just came out here for you. Sorry, no. <laughs> but... It was something that, like, I felt, I told my mom, I was like, when we broke up, it was, like, just cut and dry. Like, it was yeah. no, there was no communication after that. And I feel like, damn, like, even though we were together for, like, four years, we still had history even before that. You know what I mean? So, like, all together, we've known each other for seven years. I thought it would have been, 
more than just like, oh, okay, like I'm dropping you off and see you later. Like, good luck to you. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, I was actually surprised that it was like that. But I also can't just blame you because I never really reached out to you either. But to be honest, I made, I feel like you made me feel like I couldn't. You know what I mean? Like when you'd say like, oh yeah, if you ever need something or like, oh, we'll always be cool. But it was like, I felt like you just said that because you had to say that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I kind of felt like it was... It was, when you break up with somebody, it's not like, there's never a breakup where it's like, okay, uh, I love you, take care of yourself, if you have anything, call me. It's never, it's always like, you're hurt, you're mad, you're confused, or um, you're so certain you're trying to be stubborn. Like, all right, bye, don't need you. Click. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I can't say exactly what happened with that. I can't really think back that far and remember, but um, I definitely knew that, like, like, even like a month later, I'm like, well, I hope she's doing good. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I hope well, I mean, okay. I've always hoped yeah, yeah, that yeah. for you, too. And even when you guys started dating, like, I was genuinely happy for you. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Even though I wasn't, I probably wasn't happy or dating in my life at that time that you were. But, I mean, I'll always want the best for you. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And that's something I think that we share even because we were cool before we started dating. But it was never like, I don't know. It, I just feel like it was... Like, there could have been more past that. Yeah, like, yeah. you could have just been like, hey, hope you're doing okay or something. But I understand. You started a relationship, and I don't expect you to be texting me while you're with her because I wouldn't want somebody to be doing that to me, you know? Yeah, no, I understand, yeah. So. so now that, you know, now that you know that, like, I miss how, how it used to be in your jokes and your fun, your excitement, um, now that you're here, maybe we can go, like, do something fun and exciting, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm open to, I'm going to keep an open mind. I'm going to be cool, but I'm going to be honest with you too. Like, I'm not, you know what I mean? I still have a boyfriend, but I'm not going to sit here and say that, like, I don't feel the same way. Just like I said a second ago, like, we definitely have something that I don't think anybody can really, you know, like, no one's going to be able to be on that same type of level because it's just different. Every relationship yeah, yeah, is different. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I'm cool. If you're gonna feed me, that'd be good. <laughs> I mean, whenever there's food involved, I'm always down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go. Uh, let's get some. Um, let's get some good dinner, some wine, and just chill and talk. Sold. <laughs> Are you cool with that? Yeah, sounds right, good. Let's do that. All right, Harley, you coming? You wanna get some? You wanna get some steak, Harley? You wanna want go? Steak? You wanna go? You want some steak? <laughs> want some chicken? All right, guys. All right, guys. All right, Harley, we out of here. <laughs> All right, I'm about to go get a shower, go fix his hair, because I literally have been on a plane for five hours. <laughs> Where are we going? Steak and lobster, most expensive uh, place on the strip? No. Perfect. <laughs> no, steak and shrimp. Steak and shrimp. Steak and shrimp. Steak and shrimp it is. I'm get dressed. All right, cool. All right, guys, I'm going to get dressed and go eat the most expensive place there is.